Hey guys, it's Jurassic Park and I got a little video today on feeding some lensfish to triops. Um, this fish is already dead. Uh, I bought it this way. They come uh, frozen. You can defrost them and then feed them to your triops. Um, before I drop it in, um, if you really can't um, handle uh, how these animals are going to prey on another fishy, I would recommend to click away the video. If you don't, follow me on how triops are going to love this part, piece of fish. So, here we go. Just drop it in. Probably won't take very long till the triops noticed it and start to feed on it, like <laughs> right now. I could add some small food to attract them, but I don't think it's necessary right now. Um, they'll find out like in just a tiny bit and they will all gather at the fish for sure. Let's take a look at the other guys where they are. Some of them are just swimming over here. They're actually getting quite big. Damn. Giant ram sorn in the back. And some of the guys are here. Albino try up. Australians try up. Uh, this is new berry. Longicadaudus blacktail, I guess. And there should be another one which is, oh, there he is. The Australians is aurum species that I'm selective breeding right now. Um, it was an occurrence by mutation of the shield color and uh, I selective bred it until I got this kind of triad. So it's a unique species. I'm probably the only one that has it. I'm not completely sure, but I guess I do because it kind of mutated in my own aquarium and I started uh, selecting uh, the eggs and stuff. And then I got this guy and uh, He's basically the kid of the prototype, so he proved uh, it was possible to um, selective bred a mutated uh, triop. So let's get back to the fish. Hmm. They are not too interested today. Usually they get like onto it like some like a bunch of piranhas, but well, let's just give them a several seconds. He's actually trying to tear something off. Ooh. Yeah, they start to tear off some parts of the fish right now. Usually they just go for the eyes first, but not today, I guess. And they will actually consume the whole fish. Uh, sometimes they even try to consume parts of the, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called, vertebrates, I guess, or like bones. And, um, well, they're, sometimes it looks quite brutal, to be honest. But I like to raise them omnivorous, so they get like all kinds of uh, different foods and stuff. And, uh, well, they usually don't eat fish in nature because they live in temporary rain pools so there's like zero chance there would be a fish maybe like a, a bird would drop it over there but in nature they usually don't eat fish but they do eat them uh, when they are held captive in an aquarium so and it's just another food that they really like uh, just like bloodworms, artemia, brine shrimps um, Mosquito larvae, you can give them algae, wafers, all kinds of food. They really do to pr like to prey on fishies like these as well. Oh, there's the albino again. This is an albino longicadaudus, the pink guy. And the other guys are longicadaudus blacktails, I guess. Not completely sure anymore, but doesn't matter. They are some kind of longicadaudus.
So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, this could take a while, and uh, basically they just keep doing this, like <laughs> gathering on it, uh, taking pieces off, bringing it back somewhere, and they start to eat it like uh, in peace and quiet. <laughs> and um, well, usually this fish will last about one day, um, and after they sometimes I remove it, sometimes I just let them. Uh, eat it because um, well I use Separax in my filter so usually the ammonia gets like um, removed well enough to feed fish to these kind of big colonies and uh, it doesn't take much uh, time for them to actually clean it till the bone so that's it guys for today I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, well more videos will uh, will be uploaded soon again so hope to see you next time